Don't you come to me, Cole. Come on, fam. The bands of the wicked have robbed the children of Israel. Right. They have robbed us of nationality. They have robbed us of our heritage. We don't know who the hell we are. We right. walk around shaving our damn heads off. We think this is our damn God right here, but it don't match with the Bible. Yeah. The bands of the wicked, the so-called white man Esau, has robbed us of our true nationality. Right. They call us African American. That's they call us West Indies. They call us Haitians and Puerto Ricans and Cubans. They have robbed us from who the hell we are. Now we walk around, and I hate the man that look like me. I love you, brother, because we don't give you God's word. Yes, this ain't no damn hate campaign, Cole. We try to tell you. Get on this damn line before the Lord come back and jack everything damn up. Right. Right. That's what we're saying. Yes. That's why what the brother was telling you about, what does it mean to fear God? Let me show you. Proverbs 8, 13. Let me show you something. Come on. right back to what you said. My name is Ari Abel, all right? Pleasure to meet you, man. Acts 319. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Yes. Repent ye therefore, and be converted. So what we've been bringing out today is repentance. Okay, so we came the law, we made the statement that said, well, the Bible says come as you will. The officer said, well, bring that forth. Show us where that's at in the Bible. Because brothers and sisters we tend to say that a lot, but according to the Bible, you got to speak the words of God. Right. We can't come off our own understanding because earlier you said, well, God gave me the ability to do this. I know X, Y, Z, I'm going to shave my head. I like it when girls rub my head. You did say that. You got that on tape. But we can't be like that, Cole. Right. We got to be like what the Lord said. Right. So read what you got. Repent ye therefore, come as you are. So the brothers coming in. Cole, you coming to the door. Come on. And be converted. You may have came as you are, but there's a conversion that leave takes place. Right. Right. You got to leave differently, right? Okay. Read on. That your sin. That's your what? That your sin. Bald in your head. Well, damn, the brothers brought that out in Leviticus that I can't bald my head. I'm forehead bald. I'm clean according to the Lord. I just got to work with what I got. I got a bald spot right here. But I'm going to let it rock. Because God says so, man. To hell, I don't give a damn about what, what the, none of these damn women think. Right. That's why you get yourself right with God and get your God here in white. Right. Right. It don't matter if you got the damn drawers you upset. I'm going to rock my thing. I like right. it. Read what you got. <laughs> I'm going to rock it, Cole. I'm for real. Read, repent ye therefore and be converted, uh -huh. that your sins may be blotted out. Read. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. The times of refreshing is when those nuclear bombs drop that are coming this way to America. For all the atrocities done to the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Yeah. That's what's coming, Cole, to this place right here. A angry black man will crack this damn sky and rain down judgment. Right, if you're selling drugs, death to you. Right. If you're killing your neighbor, death to you. Right. And sisters, if you're aborting your children, death to you. Right. Read that in part again. That your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And that's all us brothers are telling you. This is love, as the brother said. Cole, get yourself together. Right. It's a warning when you see a damn train coming, coming through the damn alley. Don't the damn train blow the horn? Ain't yeah. that damn crossing guard? So it's the same damn thing. We don't want to see our brother Cole get hit. That's Psalms 119 and 60 real quick, and then I want Proverbs 8, 13. I'm just sitting on the sideline listening. But we're going to dive off, family. We're going to get to the root. We're going to get from the rooty to the damn tootie. Give me what you got. Come on. Psalms 119, verse 60. Read. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Damn. 
So you're hearing this from your forefather, King David. Say that one more time. Read it again. <laughs> I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Now, King David said, I made haste and I didn't delay. After I heard, I changed immediately. Right. There was a conversion that took place immediately. You know what? I see these men of God out here prophesying. I've never heard this in the pastor's church. There's a damn church on every damn block out here in Columbia, right. and it still looks like damn hell. That's Brothers right. and sisters are poor. There's, there's crime all over Columbia. Right. So what the hell's going on in the church? We were all there, Brother Cole. That's what we're saying. Ain't nothing that you tell us that we ain't been through. Read that again. Come on. I made haste. He says, he made haste, Cole. Come on. And delayed. Not, and I didn't wait. I didn't put it off from damn day to day. Come on. To keep thy commandments. Read. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy love. Now, and that's the thing we got to come back to. I want you to come, come here, Cole. Come on, man. The bands of the wicked have robbed the children of Israel. Right. They have robbed us in nationality. They have robbed us in our heritage. We don't know who the hell we are. We right. walk around shaving our damn heads off. We think this is our damn God right here, but it don't match with the Bible. Yeah. The bands of the wicked, the so-called white man Esau, has robbed us of our true nationality. Right. They call us African-American. They call us West Indies. That's they call us Haitians and Puerto Ricans and Cubans. They have robbed us from who the hell we are. Now we walk around, and I hate the man that look like me. I love you, brother, because we're going to give you God's word. Right, this right. ain't no damn hate campaign, Cole. We try to tell you. Get on this damn line before the Lord come back and jack everything damn up. Right, right. That's what we're saying. Yeah. That's why what the brother was telling you about, what does it mean to fear God? Let me show you. Proverbs 8, 13. Let me show you something. Come on. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. You've been hearing it all day, Cole. The fear of the Lord. Read. Is to hate evil. Wait a minute. Me whoring my sisters out is evil. Me busting. Hey, me, me getting up. Hey, baby, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, girl, what's your name? Hey, girl, you know, hey, man, I got, I got the thing. I got the charger. I'm with it. I'm a gangster. I want to hit it. I want to hit you too. I want to hit you. I want to hit you. God says you're supposed to hate that thing. No. You're supposed to be married. You ain't supposed to be slanging around. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be no damn cocksmith, screwing every damn woman and just leaving them. Right, right. God says you're not supposed to make our daughters whores. Yes, right. Point blank and period. Read that thing again. Come on. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, Read. pride, and arrogance. Pride. I don't want to hear what y'all brothers are saying. I don't want to get aggressive. No. Listen to what God said. We're not going to give you our opinion. Yeah. We're going to tell you, thus saith the Lord, to hell with my opinion. Yeah, that's right. We've been hearing the damn opinion for the pastor for years. Right. It ain't a damn thing changed. Right. But his damn pocket's getting bigger and our pocket's decreasing and getting smaller. Yeah. He's taking all the money off the damn block out here. Read. And the evil way. And the what? And the evil way. And the ways of America. So you made the statement about the drug dealer, Proverbs 331. That's what they do. Just the same way they gave you damn COVID-19 and sprayed it all upon your people. Does that mean in turn you turn around, well, 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 I know what you said about the drug dealer, but what about the pharmaceutical company? We don't agree with everything that the pharmaceutical. We don't agree with them. A lot of us don't agree. But at the end of the day, the Lord said, honor the hand of the physician. There's certain things that the doctor has for you that you can get, but I don't necessarily, I'm speaking for me. I like the more holistic, natural way. I'll right. eat a drink tea or something like that to get myself going. I don't trust it either. But read what you got. Come on. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Read. Envy thou not the oppressor, uh -huh. and choose none of his ways. So I'm not going to choose the ways of the oppressor. Just like today, they give you medical marijuana. That ain't no damn real weed. Bring it out. You brothers over here smoking stuff that got your ass not even able to get a damn job, man. Right. Right. That's all a conspiracy. It's all a setup against the children of Israel. That's As a right. matter of fact, let's get that. The Crafty Council, Psalms 83. I'm going to show you why. Bring it up. Give me so quick. Oh, damn. The white man gave me a cannabis club car. I can open up a damn store. Oh, I can smoke weed right now. Eat some brownies. No, Negro. That's a setup on your behind, man. Right, right. Because there's consequences that would come with that. It keeps you at a stupor, uh, a low state of mind, man. You're not even paying attention to what's taking place because you're too damn high. Right. I just lost my damn daddy over a damn heroin overdose. He don't want to hear this word. So the wages of sin was what? Death. And that's what it is. Read what you got. Come on. Psalms chapter 83 and verse 1. Read Keep not thou silence, O God. Uh -huh. Hold not thy peace. Here, and be not still, O God. For lo, 
Thy enemy. Wait a minute. It said, God, that enemy's gone. Wait a minute. I thought God loved everybody. I thought every. Hey, I thought He loved everybody. He ain't got no enemies. Read it again. Well, lo, thy enemies Come on. make a tumult. There's a tumult. Meaning what? An uprising, Cole. The enemies of the God, the, 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 the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There's enemies that made an uprising tumult against him. Come on. Oh, no. And they that hate thee. And they that hate. Now, God, they hate us. Bring it out. Wait a minute. Come on. Cole, the Lord got haters, man. Read that part again. Come on. And they that hate thee uh -huh. have lifted up their head. Uh -huh. They have taken crafty counsel. Cole, it said the enemies of God have lifted up their head. They walk around. Wow. And it says they have taken crafty counsel. What does the word crafty mean, Cole? They, they cut it. They, they, they cut it smooth, right? Yeah. That's some nigga shit, ain't it? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Man, hey, I gotta speak a plain to my people, man. That's right. Because we're like that with each other. Crafty, cunning. The same way these damn pastors are. Yeah. Crafty, cunning. Come as y'all, sister. Now nah, you ain't gotta get. The Lord loves everybody. Make sure you pay. <laughs> and give your tithe and offer. You can eat the pork. Nah. Saturday, the Sabbath, Sunday. No, that's crafty, cunning devices. That's Read on. Come on. They are taking crafty counsel against thy people. Who's the Lord's people? It says against thy people. It just say all people. Read it again. They are taking crafty counsel against thy people Please? and consulted against thy hidden ones. Stop. Brother Cole, we just looked at the sign right here. We were hidden. Those are one of the curses that befell the Israelites. Today we're known as African American. Right. How the hell? How old are you go? I'm 40 years old. Man. You don't get 40. Look, look, look. How the hell this, this term came out in 1986? It was 85, 86. It goes 86. How the hell am I older than my nationality? Bring it up. I'm an 81 baby. How the hell am I older than my nationality? We gonna show you all things in the Bible. Call this Bible line up with us. But we don't want to line up with God. We got our own mindset against God, bro. God don't give a damn how we think, Cole. We got to come back and keep our mind according to his mind. We can't put off from day to day, Cole. We got to get our ass together. We got to get up us in line. Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Wait a minute. Who, who represents the nation of Israel besides the purple and gold? Who represents the nation of Israel? What, 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 what seats do we have with the flags and everything behind us? Who's speaking on our behalf? The last damn time I heard somebody speaking on our behalf was a damn rapper. Right. I never put that nigga in office to speak on my behalf. Right. I never said I want to represent the tribe of Trap Boy. I didn't give him authority. But I, you know what? Who's going to speak on my behalf? Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. That's, That's right. who speaks on my behalf. Read on. That the name of Israel. That the name of African American. That the name of Israel. Jamaican. Israel. Puerto Rican. Israel. West Indian. Israel. Geechee. Israel. Come on. May be in no more in remembrance. It says that the name, the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes, be no more in remembrance. Right. Now we hate each other. Now I hate the brother that looks just like me. Meanwhile, my main enemy is this guy right here. That's right, bro. God's yeah. enemy is this guy right here. To hell with that bastard right here. Yeah, right. To hell with this dude right here. Who is this yeah. guy? Oh, who is that? What's his name? Who is this? Can I find this dude in the Bible? That's a picture of a white man. That's a Can I find him in the Bible? I ain't never seen him in the you ain't never seen him in the Bible, right? Where would I go to show that he is not in the Bible? Has your pastor ever taught you that? Where would we go to see him? Where will we go, Cole? Help me. Where do I go to find this man's image in the Bible? I ain't gonna know where to find him in the Bible. You never know where to find Jesus Christ in the Bible. He ain't. This guy isn't in the Bible. I'm talking about this white man right yeah, here. Yeah, he's not. You're 100%. But let us show you, Cole. That way, in turn, you could go back to your peoples and let them know. Right. Wake I'm your people you. up, family. I'm with you. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
Revelations. Come on, let's get that. Revelations chapter 1, verse 14. Listen, his head and his hairs were white call. like wool. The Bible says, John the Revelator says, the hair on Christ's head was white and woolly textured. Now, Cole, if you stop shaving, bro, I know the hey. hair on your head is white. I'm a fly, Cole, I'm going to follow you, Cole. The hair on your head, it, come on, hell no. Nah. The hair on your head That's is great. white and woolly. Right. I don't want you to walk off. Hey, yeah. hey it said white and woolly. It's white as that damn car. It's white as your car right there. It's the color of Christ's head. A woolly texture. Come on. As white as snow. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes. And Christ's eyes, read, were as a flame of fire. Why was Christ's eyes as a flame of fire? Family in the back, what I'm going over with my family, Cole, is the true image of Christ. Okay, that has been hidden from us for four, over 400 years. All right, we've been taught a lie. The pastors in the church ain't telling us who we truly are. So what does it say again about Christ's eyes? Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. And it said Christ's feet were like unto fine brass. Now I want to I I kind of backtrack. It says Christ's eyes were red. When you look at this image here, come on over there. When you look at this image here, what is the color of this guy's eyes? Bring it out. Blue. You know that image right up the, the image, the blue eyes is a, a hereditary defect. Y'all didn't know that? Y'all did not know that, did you? But it said that the Christ's eyes were red. When you drink wine in moderation, the whites tend to turn red from the veins inside your eyes. You when you get tired, no difference, right? Remember Christ's first miracle, he turned what at the wedding? Water into wine. Showing what? Christ wasn't a drunk, but he drank wine in moderation. That's what, that's the prophecy. You got that? Can we get that? I want, I want the brothers to hear everything because we ain't up here lying. We ain't asking for no dollars up here. And these pastors, they don't tell y'all the truth. But we're going to show y'all the truth. Read. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. What color would Christ's eyes be? Red with wine. Wait a minute. That's strike number two on the bastard. So now, hey, it, it, it's more so looking like Christ looked like that guy right there. And the it looked like this image right here. Match his image, but that image ain't in the Bible. So it said he had hair as wool. Hold on, bro. It says his eyes would be red with wine. And then his hair would be of a woolly texture. My brother, you got woolly textured hair. Yeah. This guy got some damn straight hair that, look, man, our hair damn defies gravity, man. That's how bad we are. Right, right. That's, That's how right. bad Christ is, man. We don't. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Now, brothers, I know it's cold out, but if y'all had y'all slides on, we have the Nike slippers on or whatnot, I should be able to look at your feet, and the color of your feet should match your face, right? So let's see what John the Revelator seen with Christ. Read. And his feet, and his like unto fine brass. John said Christ's feet were like unto fine brass. What is the color of brass, family? Brown. Brown. Brass is a, a derivative of brown. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. But it said that brown was as if it burnt in a furnace. Bring it out. Any damn thing you burn in a damn furnace, what color does it come out? Black! That's oh, right. Wait a minute, this dude don't line up right here. All the forefathers, all your forefathers were black men in the Bible. But where the hell did we get this damn bastard from? This is what we're trying to tell our brothers and sisters, man. The spirit of the Lord is back on the earth. It's been here, but he is waking up the prophets. We are warning our people. Whether they're here or forbear, we're not worried about the feelings. We love our people, but you cannot say in that day you did not hear this truth, man. Right, right. Read. And his voice as the sound of many words. The same way that we are out here roaring to our people. Brother across the street, you should not be cooking, buying, or selling on the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. That is the way Christ spoke to the brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel, Cole. So it ain't going to be a Joel Osteen event out here. We ain't gonna kiss nobody behind. We are all men, yourself included. But you gotta come back to who you truly are. Cole. That's right. That you are from the mighty tribe of Judah. That's, That's right. You, what tribe was Christ from? Well, you got me on that. No, brother, you know. You know why I know? Israel. That's one. But, Cole, you know how I know you know? Because it's in you. You just gotta come out of deep sleep. You from the right. tribe we from? What's that? I'm right here. All the, all the way down? All right, well, let's see what the Bible says. Let's see. Because you're from the tribe of Judah, Cole. So read what you got. 
Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. Read it out. It's evident. It's evidence. There's evidence on this thing. Come on. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. What tribe is Christ from, brothers? Judah! Meaning what? Christ is a dark-skinned man. He darker than the sweater, the shirt you got on right now. That's man. right. He don't look like this damn bastard right here. That's right. So we got to come back. See, we can't cherry prick. Man, this thing is this thing is glorious, Cole. But you got to come back. So another thing that Christians say is, well, you're judging me. Well, let's see what the Bible says. Rock 45, 26. I want you to hear something. I want you to hear something. Because you're like, damn, you know, it's not that the brother's condemning you. It's the words of God that's condemning you. You can't go around that. You can't. You should not live off bread alone, but what? Every what? You know these things, Cole, but you got to come back. Read what you got. Listen close. Come on. So Rock, chapter 45, verse 26. Read. God give you wisdom in your heart. Stop. What is the wisdom of God? What is the wisdom of God, Cole? We've been going over it all day. What, the commandments? The commandments is That's the wisdom right. of God. So it says, God give you wisdom in your heart. My brother, he got wisdom of the Lord in his mind. The heart is the mind, according to Mark 7, 21. So read on. To judge his people. No, to judge all people. To judge his people. But a brother, uh, Tupac, could say only God could judge me. No, God gave his prophets, his ambassadors, his gods on this living earth, the authority and the business to judge his people. Right. Not all people. Right. This world was a sin to everybody. John 3, 16 don't mean what you mean. We'll go over that next. Read so read it again. God give you wisdom in your heart to judge his people. But that came up with a hat that said, I love Jesus. We're going to see if you love Jesus. So it says, God gave you wisdom in your heart to judge his people. You can't judge me. God gave me wisdom in my heart to judge you. Right. God comes with judgment. Right. But I am judging you, telling you the judgment of the Lord that will come if you do not turn from your wicked ways. That's right. right. Read on. In righteousness. In what? In righteousness. What is righteousness? Cole, help me out. What is right? Righteousness is the right thing. The right thing. Let's see what the Bible says. I want you to come back to this. Revelation 6.25. We got to precept upon precept. We got to figure out what righteousness, righteousness is. It's the word of God. It's the word of God. Where would I go to find that? In the book, right? Yes, so we can't go off our own mind, right, Cole? Yes, we got to do what I said the Lord says, right? Yes, okay, we getting somewhere, my brother. Deuteronomy 6, 25. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. Read and it shall be our righteousness. It shall be the nation of Israel's righteousness. Read on. If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, as he hath commanded us. So wait a minute. It says it shall be an entire nation's righteousness collectively if we do all the commandments of the Lord because the other nations know that we are a special group of people Ooh, right the other nations how the hell can we sing better than them we run faster than them you put us in any education group and we still outsell out outsell them but they try to keep us at the bottom of society why is that because we're different we're better they're hell you damn right they're scared but they're even more afraid when we, when you wake up and understand who you truly are. That's right. Now they're afraid. As a matter of fact, you saw that. Go back to Sirach. You saw that with who? Kyrie. You saw that with who? Kanye. Bring it now up. you could be anything on the face of this planet, but you better not call yourself a Jew. Right. Yeah. No black. No way. You could be a nigger. You could be a jack boy. Sisters, you could be a hoe and a harlot. But the second you, you could be damn Korean if you want to. Hell, they say you could be damn transgender. You ain't a young boys like uh, uh, Dwayne Wade's son is now a girl and society's okay with that. No, but right. the second you say that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, all damn hell breaks loose. No, right. Right. Now it's anti-Semitism. I am, uh, oh, I'm, uh, you're anti-Semitic. How the hell can I be damn anti-Semitic when I am Semitic? Right. Right. The damn devil himself is Semitic, but he's right. not the chosen. Right. You're the chosen. Finish what you got. Come on. God give you wisdom in your heart to judge his people in righteousness. In what? In righteousness. Read. That their good things. The good things. What is the good things? Come on. Be not abolished. And that their glory may endure forever. The good things is the kingdom of heaven set on earth is set to come. So we're telling you, Cole, we don't want you to miss out on that. Right. I want to see my brother Cole, a part of the 144,000, ruling over a damn city. Anybody go against Cole, you bust in their ass. That's what right. I want to see. Right. That's what the Bible says. That's right. But you won't hear this in the Bible. But we're going to give you the Bible. Isaiah 14, let's get it. I want Cole to hear this thing. I want you to hear this thing. What is to come 
for us so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans for us applying God's laws until Christ come or either we hit the dirt. What is set for us? Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy. Lord Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes. His name was changed to Israel. We are the sons of Israel. Read on. And will yet choose Israel. He says, the Lord, the Lord will yet choose Israel. He didn't say the Hawaiian man. He didn't say the Chinese man. He said the Israelite man. That's Read right. on. And set them in their own land. And put us back in our homeland known as Jerusalem. We're going back home. Those people in Jerusalem today, they are not the real Jew. Right. The Bible lines up with you. You are the real Jew. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers is going into those that call themselves Jews, but are not Jews. Right. The Korean man is not a Jew. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And they shall cleave to the 12 tribes of Israel. What does it mean to cleave? What does it mean to cleave? Damn, they're like the rims and the tie. Yeah, you damn right, like the rims on the tie of your car. They cleave to that damn rim. When you bend a corner, you, you know that scab. I, I, I know you be doing that. Yeah, you slick. But anyway, it says that you should cleave. They're going to cleave to the nation of Israel. Come on. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And it says the Israelites, we will take them and bring them to our place. Come on. And the house of Israel and the house of all people. Israel shall possess them. Wait a minute. What does it mean, Cole, to possess? Take hold. Take hold. So God is saying something here. Read on. And possess them in the land of the Lord. In the land of the Lord for what? For servants and handmaids. What? For servants and handmaids. Read. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. Stop. Were we not captive to a nation of people? Did our forefathers and foremothers... Were they not sold down here Bring it at up. the ports of Charleston? Did they not put us all throughout Georgetown? Damn something. Camden, all over. North Carolina, Mississippi, Louisiana. Were, did we not go into captivity and become servants to another race of people? So God is saying that a 180 is going to happen. Read that part again. Read that. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. Now, we're going to take these other nations' captives, whose captives we used to be. Come on. And they shall rule over them. We're going to do what? Rule over their oppressors. What is an oppressor? Oh, uh, uh, that's me. Yeah, call. Uh, oppressor who? Uh, 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 one who oppresses. One who oppresses. Yes. With drugs. Yeah. Yeah. With alcohol. Yeah. With dirty cities. With crime. Meanwhile, they live in the best spots. Right. They live on the water's edge. They give us the worst food. They oppress us with education. They oppress us with their laws. Do they not? And they don't keep no laws. They got us down like Dylan Ruth in the church. And then they buy this damn devil a damn Burger King sandwich. We go gun somebody down. They gonna buy your ass around a 223. We ain't getting no damn Burger King. We ain't no talking. They oppress us. Read that part again. Damn right. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Man, that thing is beautiful. It says we're going to rule over our oppressors forever. So we got to come back. That's all we bring it out, Cole. All praise, bro. So Lord, what we see. I'm going to bring back the teacher. But it's not a hate campaign. We just got to humble down and listen. We men. You ain't no less of a man. You understand? That's it. Just humble down. Like what he just said. He asked me, the meat, the homework is what? And I said, meat, and the meat should be what? The hair of the earth. Now, the meat, though, Cole, <laughs> you know the meat ain't no punk. That's what, it's right. the office of the week. Right. Christ was Power meat. Power under control. But meat to the laws of God. Power under control. That's what that's going into, you understand? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Family.